Yeah, I remember uh, <laughs> my vivid memory is uh, one in the locker room and, and its location and how 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 well it's situated. Um, very nice very luxurious. The second one was just playing with my teammates. I remember some throws from Todd Beckman that uh, I caught. I never forget. Like I I, I caught like a tight hitch. Uh, I think around the hash on our right side, and I got vertical quickly, and I should have scored, and I got hawked and didn't score. But it was like a 50-yard gain or something like that. So I, I have some some memories uh, of being at Purdue. Yeah. I did not as a player, no. Brian, if, if Emeka is limited at all on Saturday, would that be Xavier first in line? Would that be Cornell or Brandon? What would, how would you address that? That's a secret. That's a secret. <laughs> what does Xavier provide off the bench? Uh, Xavier can do it all. I mean, I think, you know, you can see him from the last game last year, uh, whether he's playing first game and last game, uh, whether he's playing in the slot or whether he's playing outside or whether he's in the backfield with the quarterback. Uh, I think he's very capable of doing all of that. And uh, he provides that uh, – uh, that ability to switch. I mean, we, we've done a, a little bit of that this year, and we're continuing to build on it. And uh, you know, but X is excellent, and uh, and everything he does, uh, I look forward uh, being the, you know in a situation where if Mech would be down, uh, the opportunity that he will have. Is Cornell State ready for extended duty? Uh, What's that? Is Cornell State ready for extended duty? If you need in that I, I always like to think so. I think there's always a, a, a you know a handful of guys that are ready to play, just like. You know, Mecca and Marvin were and uh, back in 2021 for the Rose Bowl. So uh, that's always the goal. You never know until you know. But I think the, the work that's being put in uh, throughout the week uh, gives me lots of confidence. Uh, I think we have a I think we have a really good two deep. And I think that uh, uh, I expect that to grow, not just numbers wise, but the density, like how good that two deep is. Uh, but I feel like we have a really good uh, two deep uh, when it comes to the receiver room. The two deep, that's six guys. Oh, they all are secrets. Yeah. Not good enough. I think that uh, we need to be, uh, you know, I think that anytime you, throw the ball or run the ball, uh, you are evaluated when you need it most. And I think that's important. I think that, uh, you know, it's kind of like when they know you're going to run it, you know, how well do you run it? And when they know you're going to pass it, how well do you pass it? Uh, it's a good indication. And and it's, it's all-encompassing. It's the guys on the perimeter blocking. Uh, when you're throwing, it's the guys in the interior, you know, blocking for the quarterback. So, you know, we don't play basketball. We play a total team sport. And uh, to be successful in either one, you need the whole group. And, uh, you know, but I think that we could do a better job on the perimeter. We can always do a better job. And uh, we need to do a better job running the football. Brian, do you think uh, throwing it more often would open up the run game? Uh, I don't know. What do you think? No, I'm just saying. I'm just kidding around. But, I mean, yeah, it's always easy to be the naysayer. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, you're, you're critiqued and evaluated on the opportunities you've had. So, um, you know, do, you know it, to, to take 10 more reps and to throw it 10 more times, to, to run it 10 less times, I'm not sure that helps the running game. I mean, so I don't know. I don't have a take on that. I think that we just need to do a better job in both areas. You know, I would say that, uh, you know, in order to, you know, I would say this when it comes to guys playing. I mean, we don't just rotate the left tackle. We don't rotate the right tackle. We don't rotate the center. We don't rotate the guard. I mean, our, our responsibility on the perimeter in the, in, the, in, the, in the receiver room is to make sure we put the best three guys on the field as much as possible to help our offense. You know, we're not going to cater to, 
you know, make people feel good. I mean, I want everyone to feel good. But at the end of the day, we owe, we owe it to the team and we owe it to this offense to put the best guys on the field at all times. So until that changes, until that, you know, you have are taking reps, quote unquote, from somebody, uh, then you get more reps on the field. Uh, Mecca was not taking reps from Jackson back in 2021, and Marvin was not taking reps from Garrett back in 2021, but you guys never asked me about that. So now we're going to ask about it because I don't know if it's a good comp. At the end of the day, we have a good room, and they're playing their, their, their tails off, and I'm really happy with where they are, and that depth is being built, and I'm always going to put the best three guys on the field as possible. Well, it has to. In order for someone to play, it's going to pull somebody else off the field. I'm just – oh, I think he's doing a great job. I mean, if you ask me how Brandon's doing, he's doing a great job. I think that he's, he's buying into his role. He wants to help this team more than ever. We talk about it consistently. And I think he's going to be a guy that uh, will give us an opportunity probably at punt return if needed and also the depth in the slot. I mean, I'm very, I'm very uh, uh, grateful with where he's at and the steps he is taking. Absolutely. Got to ask Coach Day. Got to ask Coach Day. Brian Marvin Harrison after the game said that with the injury, it's a collective effort to kind of manage that and put him in the right positions to make the plays he did on Saturday. What goes into managing that with that kind of injury? Well, I think that uh, any time – you have a group in general, right? I mean, their health is, you know, most important. Like we just talked, I mean, my job is trying to make sure we have the best three guys possible on the field at all times. That includes injury. So you do the best you can on exposing these guys to certain things um, and make sure you put the guys in the best position to, to make plays. So when you have someone has a little ding up, it's like the timing is so critical with the quarterback. The work during the week is really critical. And obviously the week on Saturday is just the, uh, the combination of all that. But there's a lot that goes into it. We're very mindful of it. But we make sure to get the reps we need to make sure we're successful on Saturday, but also trying to limit them. So there, there's a lot to it. But uh, it's a two-way road. Marvin's done a phenomenal job. And uh, I think we're very uh, in tune to where he's at. Brian, what, what do yeah. you think of, how, how is Caden Curry taken to this new role? <laughs> Caden's awesome. What does he bring to the table? Oh, I, just, I, I think everything he brings defensively. I mean, he's, he's tough. Uh, he's willing. He wants to. Uh, he's a joy to be around. Like, uh, I think that uh, we're very uh, uh, happy to have him be a part of our group at times. And uh, he really uh, uh, it just says a lot about him. Yeah. You as a coordinator, last couple of questions for Brian. You like to have that in your hip pocket, right? I mean, that's mm. guy. What kind of brought that along you know, from a history standpoint? You know, I think we, we, we took notice of where he was, you know, in you know, high school, things he would do. Uh, he did some things like that in high school. And I think that just very willing. I mean, you can see guys whether, you know, on the defensive side of the ball, what they could do maybe offensively. And, and just knowing the athlete and knowing the individual, um, he may have even, you know, brought we may have threw it at him and he may be like, yeah, I'd be up for that. You know, so it's kind of everything is, is it's part of the uh, equation. Uh, and uh, But, no, he's great and uh, glad he helps us out. Look at him. Yeah, maybe you should play quarterback, too. Go ahead, Lori, last question. Yes, ma'am. Oh, fair question. Yep. Yeah, I think it uh, it's definitely has grown. I think that, uh, you know, it's kind of like when you're trying to think of a good analysis. Uh, you think you're ready to be a dad, and you're ready for it, but you get better at it, you know, as the, as the, the months and years go on. So... Uh, I kind of, you know, you think of it the same way. You think you're ready, and then until you actually happens, like a dad. And then, you know, but that being said, uh, I'm surrounded by great coaches. I go to them whenever I need to. I go to Coach Day whenever I need to. I bounce things off them. So, you know, just like I think our receiver room and our offense feels very confident because of the guys in that room, I feel very confident because of the guys that surround me in the staff room. So, um, you know, I think uh, what I can learn from them, the growth I've had since then has been awesome. Yeah, thanks for asking. Coach, thank you very much. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thanks, guys.